So how exactly do you keep a Telecaster's heart and soul while at the same time making it more versatile? Well, you do this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the studio today, we've got this Honey Burst Beauty. This is the Fender Performer Series Telecaster. Now this is the entry-level American-made Telecaster. It replaced the American Special, which I did play quite often, so this guitar feels very familiar, even though it's the first time I've ever played the Performer Series, technically. <laughs> so anyway, yes, this is a beautiful, beautiful Honey Burst Fender Telecaster. Now this guitar is not stock. Can you guys tell if I just give it a spin? Do you notice anything amiss? Well, it's almost impossible to tell unless you play it, but this Telecaster has a really cool trick. Yes, we've got a Freeway Telecaster switch installed on our telly, and that takes the three tones and doubles it to six. Now, instead of doing like a six-way selector or push-pulls or toggles or something like that, that can make it a little tricky to remember what exactly tones you're using, the Freeway switch is genius. It's so easy to use and retain your stock tones. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna give you guys the tones of the switch right away. If you haven't seen what a freeway switch looks like, this is it. It's all labeled there, so it's very easy to wire up. But if you're not comfortable with wiring, you know, maybe getting a tech to help you out might be a good option, but the instructions are very clear. So anyway, a few months ago, I did the Strat version, and I said in that video, this is absolutely the best mod for the price. We're talking like under 50 bucks for a Stratocaster. Doubles your tones in a very natural and really ingenious way. So anyway, let's jump to the telly, see what kind of switching we can have on this guitar. Here we go. Now, one of the best parts of this mod is your guitar looks pretty much stock. You'd have to have an eagle eye to notice that the switch is any different. So like I said, it kind of keeps the heart and soul of your telly intact. And the bottom row is your stock tone. So bridge, both pickups together, neck. Now, when you want a new tone, all you do is bring it up a row. Very tactile, very satisfying in terms of the click. And your hand is conditioned to go to the selector anyway when you want a new tone. So it just makes sense that it would be there. So yes, you can get six individual tones from two pickups, which is pretty amazing. So this switch kind of like unleashes some new tones. Let's plug it in and check it out. All right, so let's start in the bridge position. I'll give you the stock bridge, then I'll go to the upper row, which is both pickups in parallel out of phase. <laughs> All right, now let's go to the middle position. I'll give you the stock middle position. Then I'll go to the upper row, which is both pickups in series out of phase. <laughs> Next up, let's move to the neck position. I'll play stock first. And when you go to the upper row, it's both single coils wired together in series, which is like a humbucker. So big, thick, bold tone. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, in terms of the overall tones, number one, having both single coils wired together like a humbucker is crazy useful. Going from the neck to the upper row just gives you an instant kind of output boost. It'll drive the amps harder, as you guys heard, and pedals or whatever else you have in your signal. So even if you're doing some rhythm in your regular neck and you want a solo, sometimes just going to that upper row boosts the amp harder, uh, kind of drives it into some overdrive. You might not even have to adjust anything else. It's kind of like the perfect solo tone. Or if you need like a really driving rhythm uh, that's really fat, that's super useful. Now in the middle position, when you go to the upper row, it's kind of like a half cocked wah where it takes like all the frequency range and just outputs like that much. So really nasally um, and like a classic out of phase tone. So if you play like a lot of rhythm, a lot of funk, you might find that really useful. I don't know how much I'll use it, um, but it's kind of nice to have, right? And in the bridge, when you go to the upper row, it's parallel out of phase. So when you compare it to your regular parallel mode, which is middle position, um, now you have kind of two quacky tone options, which is again, nice. That's like a fender staple. So you've got your regular middle position, um, which you guys heard. And then if you go to your bridge and you go up, you get a second kind of quacky option, a little bit brighter, a little bit more attack. So really useful. So those are the six tones um, on the freeway switch. So here are my final thoughts on the Telecaster freeway switch. Well, the switch is under $50. And I can't think of any other mod for $50 or less that would make a massive impact to, you know, the number of tones that you have uh, like this switch. So for me, it's a no brainer. And like when I demoed that Strat switch, I said that was the best mod I've ever seen for a Strat ever because that one, you know, gave you so many tones and this one doubles your tones as well. So, I mean, it's an absolute no brainer. The only thing would be, you know, if you're not into wiring or soldering, you would probably have to either bribe a friend or go take it to a tech, but that's it. Once it's on there, man, it just works so good. It's so tactile. It just makes sense. Your hands go in there for new tones anyway. Love the boost of like the series and uh, the out of phase tones. So really cool mod and uh, yeah, just right at home on a Fender. So I'll link to the freeway switch and the guitar in the video description below. The rest of my information, tab store, t-shirt store, gear I use, all of that stuff is down there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to do so. We got lots of great content lined up for you guys. Other than that, have yourself a great day.